This past Sunday, freshly minted RNC co-chair Laura Trump appeared on Fox news opposite host Maria Bartiromo, where Bartiromo decided to ask a very loaded and on its premise alone, false question to Laura Trump. Now the question she asked was this, remember what Kamala Harris, the vice president said the other day, she says now they're going to pay people to come out and get engaged into voting. She said government, and this is all taxpayer dollars. People should understand this is your money being used to pay college students to register voters. They'll receive money through the work study, a federal program that pays most of students wages while employed at a part-time job, taxpayer money. That's not exactly how that uh, program works by the way. But Laura Trump responded and said this, imagine Donald Trump using taxpayer money to influence the outcome of an election. When he was president, people would have gone berserk over it, but this is very, very problematic. And it's that simple statement right there from Laura Trump that has led legal experts to believe that oopsie do. Laura Trump just destroyed Donald Trump's claims of immunity because here's what's happening in court right now. Donald Trump has filed multiple in multiple different courts, including with the Supreme court, uh, filings arguing that, Hey, I got presidential immunity from all this stuff, including especially the January six case with his attempts to overturn the election. Because as he said, I was president at the time. I'm just doing the job of the president to make sure the election was fair. And here we have the new co-chair of the Republican party saying that Donald Trump didn't use any tax dollars to do that, which means the money spent to do that did come from the Trump campaign, which would mean he wouldn't be immune because he wasn't doing it as president. He was doing it as a candidate for public office, which means any claim of immunity is dead on arrival. Here is what legal expert Marcy Wheeler said. Laura Trump offers to be a witness attesting that none of Trump's actions in the January 6th indictment, not a single one is an official act. Glad this is on video. Now get her before a grand jury. Now Wheeler is obviously being a little tongue in cheek with this, right? I mean, technically you could call Laura Trump in as a witness and maybe this testimony could work, but at the same time, this is from an appearance on Fox news. Laura Trump is not under oath when she is on Fox news. So is it admissible in court? No, but is it a hell of an admission that if you can get the Republicans to start saying that more often, something that could come back to bite Trump? Yes, it 100% is. So is it the big smoking gun that Donald Trump doesn't deserve immunity? Absolutely not. But it is a reminder folks that Donald Trump's campaign is the one who paid for it. I mean, technically what Laura Trump is saying here is not wrong. It's not because we know that these people that went out and did these things for Trump to overturn the election, they were members of his campaign and they were being paid by his campaign. They were not white house staffers. So by that virtue alone, which Laura Trump's admission reminds us of, it's very clear that Donald Trump is not entitled to presidential immunity because he wasn't acting as president. He was acting as a candidate. But uh, just another note, by the way, on that uh, federal work study program to help register voters. It's not just by the way, giving college students money to go register people to vote. Uh, part of the reason this is being done through the federal work study program is because we have had a massive amount of poll workers resign and quit their positions due to the death threats and other threats they've received from Trump supporters since the 2020 election. So we're severely lacking in poll workers, including those to register new voters. So they're using the federal work study program to go register people. And if you're afraid that registering more people to vote is going to hurt your campaign, then that doesn't sound like a very good campaign to me.